Two decades after the raising of the Mary Rose, a dive vessel is back off the coast at Portsmouth. The wreck site is under threat from a deep water channel about to be dredged. This could be the archaeologists' last chance to re-excavate the seabed. For the first time since the ship's hull was dramatically raised from the seabed. During the 1970s and 80s, the archaeologists didn't excavate the bow castle structure, the area at the front of the ship built up high so that they could fight a land battle at sea. Historians have only been able to guess at what the front of the Mary Rose might have looked like. I think this bow area of the ship, because it's one of the fighting areas of the ship, is actually very, very important, and that's why, you know, I still dream of trying to find this underwater. The silts are still kind to the Mary Rose, and before long they begin to give up more objects. A length of timber, at first sight like many others previously discovered, but further excavation reveals that this particular piece of wood is of far greater significance than the divers had ever hoped for. Could this timber be part of a bigger find, that of the front of the vessel? It's Wednesday evening and we're about to have going in Rob with the yellow helmet there and Alex down here and we got the bell in the background and it's quite late in the evening so we'll have a sunset soon. Ready for me now? And the bell is now being launched for the dive. So these are the controls for the winch that operates the bell. Going into dive just near the bow timbers and airlift some more silt away to clear the whole area down on this archaeological excavation inspecting the bow area of the Mary Rose. We're now looking into dive control at the very start of the dive and we've got the four television monitors at the top followed by the monitors of the depth and then the dials that show divers breathing air. And supervising the dive is Pete, who's controlling the speed that they go down and seeing that they're all okay. It's nine o'clock on Wednesday evening and Alex and Rob are just about to come to the surface after doing a short decompression stop on their way up. Bell on the surface, Bell, Laurie. Bell's on the surface, Peter. Bell's on the surface. Okay. <laughs> 